Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've made it. We're officially in Clown World. And when you're in Clown World, you gotta be a clown. The Little Mermaid controversy has now hit the point of total insanity, with progressive nutters gaslighting people left, right and center, claiming it's racist not to like, an unnecessary and insulting race swap, while others are saying that it's a kids movie and it really, really doesn't matter, and even more others are actually using their kids to promote it. Little black girls going, oh look, she's brown like me, how wonderful, whatever. But through it all, somebody needs to be thinking about the translucent people. Sea creatures after all have translucent skin and preeminent translucent rights activist Matt Walsh is here to correct the balance. Hello and welcome back to Will of the Fans. My name is Will. See what I did there. And yes, Matt Walsh has come out in defense of translucent lives. Don't forget that translucent lives matter too. It's not just people who have pigmentation and visible skin. No, in the bottom of the ocean, you'll find that sea creatures actually are pretty much transparent on a surface level, revealing all the gory details of their inner workings to anyone who is unlucky enough to encounter them. But if you are going to make a serious and scientific mermaid story, then shouldn't Ariel be so pale that she is in fact translucent? Matt Walsh definitely seems to think so. So let's head over to the Daily Wire for this hard-hitting bit of journalism. <laughs> Matt Walsh fishes, fishes in humorless media matters with joke about Little Mermaid casting. And it should be obvious at this point that this is an epic troll and we're going to enjoy the ride. Let's get into it. Matt Walsh is trending on Twitter again for convincing hapless media matters that he's deeply concerned about the rights of translucent individuals being represented in Disney's new live action, The Little Mermaid. The saga began when Media Matters journalist Jason Campbell shared a clip from Walsh's show featuring the podcaster complaining that it's unscientific to cast a black actress as Ariel in the new movie. From a scientific perspective, it doesn't make a lot of sense to have someone with darker skin who lives deep in the ocean. I said this, there's no way that they would be black when there's no sunlight, the Daily Wire host said, and so did I. I mean, if anything, not only should the Little Mermaid be pale, she should also be translucent. Absolutely right, Matt Walsh there, getting right to the crux of the issue with hard-hitting honesty. Matt Walsh continued saying deep sea creatures are horrifying and like skeletons at the bottom of the ocean before confirming that he'd actually watch a version of the movie where he could see Ariel's skull through her face. <laughs> As would I. That would be an interesting take. And it would certainly do a lot for translucent rights. Anyone accustomed to Matt Walsh's deadpan humor immediately recognized the comment as a joke. However, Media Matters, the tax-exempt liberal organization whose mission is to attack conservative news sites and other outlets, took it as truth and have been reaching out to the host for comment on what has become a parody campaign for the rights of translucent-skinned individuals. Now, of course, you might be thinking, translucent people don't exist. And I would say that's extremely racist and also extremely prejudiced in this era where anybody can identify as whatever they want. Translucent women are women. Translucent women are translucent. If I say that I am invisible, then I am invisible. That's all there is to it. And when are you people gonna wake up and stop being so bigoted? In any case, Quote, I said Ariel should be played by someone with translucent skin like a real deep sea fish and thousands of leftists took me seriously and are calling me racist because of it, Max Walsh said later. I'm actually being accused of harboring racial favoritism for translucent people. I love it. This is great. Yes, it is always a good day when the left reveal how utterly stupid they are and also how gullible they are and also just how far they are willing to go to defend ridiculous talking points that make absolutely no sense and don't apply to any human being living on this planet. When asked for a comment from GRV Media on his recent remarks about mermaids, <laughs> Clown World! Walsh kept up the act, writing in part that he's long been an advocate for the rights of translucent people. Well, you stay strong there, brother. I believe it's time we start giving these casting opportunities to this marginalized community. Translucent rights are human rights. Please include this entire statement in your report. <laughs> oh, I do love Matt Walsh. Other Daily Wire podcast hosts also got in on the joke. 
I for one consider it homophobic, transphobic and misogynistic that Jason S. Campbell would question the scientific perspective of a beloved LGBTQ children's author and gender studies scholar such as Matt Walsh. Michael Knowles tweeted, of course he did. I'm sure Matt Walsh was absolutely serious when he suggested that the only scientifically accurate Little Mermaid would be a translucent, skeletal, gill-possessing being. You nailed him, Ben Shapiro wrote. Absolutely disgusted by all this translucent phobia, transphobia for short, the systemic forces against our see-through friends are simply unacceptable, one follower joked. And of course, don't forget that uh, Newsweek also picked up the story, acknowledging that Matt Walsh was joking, but still accusing him of being racist for suggesting a translucent-skinned person should play Ariel. Of course, we can also see here that translucent lives matter is uh, actually trending on Twitter, including this lovely, very respectful piece of uh, artwork depicting a realistic bottom of the ocean mer person. More likely, this this is what a mermaid would look like than what a uh, than what Disney has portrayed so far, or even what Hans Christian Andersen was able to put forward in his story. There was an interesting part actually where somebody said that uh, Hans Christian Andersen wrote. The Little Mermaid as a queer self-insert. And just for the record, I'd like to uh, take a second here to say no, that actually was the Ugly Duckling. That was his self-insert. Of course, if you tried to make that now, you'd be called racist because a brown feathered duckling becoming a beautiful white swan would be considered uh, highly problematic. In fact, it would be more likely now that the swan would have to be turned with surgery into uh, the little brown duck in order for equality. Certainly somebody out there would say it's racist. In any case, uh, let's continue with the fun. Here we go with Rex Locum. Thank you, Matt Walsh blog and Timcast. You don't even know the depression I have endured due to my translucence. All my life, people ignored me like I wasn't even there. It's like being invisible. You have literally saved my life. I mean, it's a profound misunderstanding of what translucent skin would result in, but still good on you for standing with all my other translucent friends to celebrate translucent awareness. Hashtag translucent lives matter. Yes, they do. Never forget translucent lives. Okay, and oh look, it's me, Will of the Fans. You can follow me on Twitter, by the way, and get some of this sort of stuff. Uh, Translucent Lives Matter, and Ariel should reflect an indigenous sea creature in The Little Mermaid. It's outrageous to see such translucent phobia by Disney. Okay, I think that we've probably got to the end here. I guess one more is okay. Matt Walsh blog is about to be responsible for getting another T added to the LGBT2+. Plus. Is, that an, is that the new one? Don't know. Alphabet Soup. One man's joke is another narcissist's battle cry. Translucent lives matter. Yes, they do. Very good. Be sure to make sure that you are supporting translucent lives everywhere you go. Get on Twitter. Join the conversation at the hashtag translucent lives matter. And I'll see you there, brother. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. Like it if you did enjoy it and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. We're almost to 800 now. It'd be nice to see it get there today. I'll be back with another video very soon for you, but in the meantime, see you next time.